Welcome to the 1020 Legacy Way Passivals Apartments. This project is located in Whistler and was completed in 2019 and consists of 24 bedrooms on four floors over a level of parking. The overall shape of the building is fairly simple as you can see with these long straight walls. The simple form makes it ideal to use prefabricated panels. Using the BC Passivals system, the walls have an effective R value of 45, the roofs of 98, and the floors of 71, ideal for Whistler's climate. The air barrier is taped interior OSB on the prefab panels and the concrete of the suspended slab. We did have some issues during some cold wet weather, so membrane was added as a safeguard. The project team rethought platform framing, so site assembly was like stacking Lego blocks and air barrier continuity would always be on the inside. Less wood plates were required, which helped to reduce thermal bridging. One of the most prominent features of this project is this entry canopy. The structure is independent of the main building and hidden within these fertile walls, meaning no thermal bridging and a clean look. Here we have the certified passive house door. By VETA, the frame is made of solid pine, exterior insulation, and aluminum cladding, in addition to the standard triple glazing, triple gasket, and multi-point lock. On top of the attic, are two grills for the intake and exhaust serving the centralized ERV unit. From there, the ducts extend over the corridor in the attic before branching down to serve the suites. The heating and cooling are partially provided through heat pumps utilizing the DES or district energy system, then to the ERV. The DES generates heat through the neighborhood sewage in a two pipe closed loop system. Or another way of thinking about it is an HRV, but with poop instead of air. Starting from the entry, here's a basic rundown of a standard unit. The kitchen has an induction stovetop with a recirculating hood, complete with a built-in grease and carbon filter. Hidden within the kitchen wall bump out is the plumbing stack with two inches of pipe insulation. The windows beyond are similar to the door, but function on the tilt and turn operations. Below that is the electrical baseboard for supplemental heating. This storage room helped create the simple form and the HVAC fl layout flexibility. Hidden in the storage room ceiling is the suite's react dampers for the ERV unit. The final PHPP numbers are a heating demand of 13 kilowatt hours per meter squared, an air tightness of 0.15 ACH at 50 pascals, and a PER of 62 kilowatt hours per meter squared. 